Let me ask you a question. Are you a fan of loud clothing? You know, not something subtle or nice like black. But orange and amber and yellow. Bright colors that draw attention to people. And you as you walk through it. Are you somebody that watches a fashion show and says, that's astounding? Or someone that says, hey, just tone it down a little bit. What happens when God calls you to stand out a little bit rather than fading into the crowd? How do you do that with integrity and with joy and with hope? What's the call, really? Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled, Shine Your Light, for Monday, October 19th, 2020. Our scripture reading is Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Our scripture verse is, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. That's Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16, from the New International Version. Our thought for the day is this. Daily opportunities to shine Christ's love abound. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotional. Log on to upperroom.org slash devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead. Pause. We'll wait for you. Well, our devotion today brings us to a familiar passage and its familiar scripture verse. But the devotional author shares this particular idea of being light in dark places and shining our light to the world in a unique way. They share about a particular dark day and a single tree standing out in contrast. And then making the connection. What if it's not so much of me shining like a flashlight in people's eyes and offending them with my brightness, but it's me standing in contrast to the world that they're used to? What an amazing ministry you could have if you decided not that it was your responsibility to scream what's right at people, but to stand and live it in contrast instead. Standing out. And saying, I'm simply living for God. And I'll do what's the best in each situation to bring him glory. Is radically different in a world that says, I'm simply living for my bank account. And I'll do what's best for me until the day I die. Imagine a world full of Christians like that. People authentically living, humble and and available to stand out for God and reflect the brightness of his work through us through the Holy Spirit instead of worrying about lighting up every piece of the world. People could see that contrast forever. You'd stand out and they'd come to you and say, what's unique about you? They'd explore your roots and figure out how you're growing when everything else seems dark. You wouldn't have to ask questions. They'd be asking questions of you. Perhaps in your job, in your family, in your your own personal life, it's time to be comfortable standing out and saying it's okay for other people to think I'm not okay. Given enough time, they'll see that I'm not doing it for a show, but I'm doing it for Jesus. And they'll be drawn to the contrast. And ask those right questions where I can share the love of God with them through Jesus Christ. Standing out as the light of the world in contrast to what other people see every day. Let's live like that today. Let's close with a prayer found in our devotional. Loving God, may our lives show others that we belong to you. Help us to shine brightly to the world around us. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. 
We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the upper room.